Well, for the next two weeks, we are in Savannah, Georgia. Yes. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> no, what gave you that impression? <laughs> <laughs> These trees are awesome. Yeah, that's what I love about the Georgia coast. Yeah, the Spanish moss and these big, huge should, trees. You know you're getting close to Florida, too. <laughs> yeah. Today, we're at the Wormslow Historic Site. There is like a little museum out here. You get to drive all the way through this cool tree path. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> and there's some ruins. Yeah. Something got ruined. The Tabby ruins. Tabby got ruined. <laughs> Let's go see what's left of Tabby. Now this is what's left of the Jones's house. Yep. And it was quite big for back in the day. Yeah. 1730s. Yeah, that's insane. One and a half story. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty good size for that era. <laughs> and pretty intricate too, the way they designed this place. Yeah. Had a well inside, had a chimney inside, had, um, you know, bastions in the, in the corners to protect against intruders or the enemies. Spanish. Well, there was a war going on during the time. Yes. Um, took how long to build this deal? Took six years to build this house. Yeah, but if you look up real close, you can see that it's made out of like oyster shells. There's the shells and sand and mix of a bunch of ingredients, but I guess it takes a long time to acquire all that. And yeah, I don't know how long it takes to set. Yeah. So um, there's still a little bit left. But you can definitely yeah, all see the oyster see shells the, still inside it's there. It's crazy, yeah. It is pretty cool. So uh, back in the 1730s, it was pretty difficult to keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. You see what I did? I see what you did. <laughs> Let's go see some more. <laughs> okay. So you can see here the bastion uh, area that I was talking about because this right here would be the front door. This right here is a little room and up here is a little window where a, uh, an armed person could stick their rifle out of this hole and if somebody's coming to the front door to get in, um, they could shoot them. And there was also one on this side, which is now missing, but it's still pretty cool that this one is still intact. Yeah. Well, now we're at the original grave site of the Jones family. Yeah. Him, his wife, and one of their children. Yes. But they were moved. Yes. To the Colonial Cemetery. Yes. And then they were moved again. <laughs> they move the, a lot like the military. Yeah, <laughs> to the Bonaventure <laughs> Cemetery. Yeah. So no one's actually buried here. No, it's just a stone marking the spot. Where it was. Tour. We're supposed to have our mask on. Especially there, uh, it's been a very active house tonight, and we're likely to get. Hopefully, we'll be able to show you some of this.
Well, today we are at Fort Pulaski, just yes. outside of uh, Savannah, Georgia. Actually, closer to Tybee, Tybee Island. Going out to Tybee, yeah. And uh, it's a really cool place. It is a cool place. Built in the early 1800s. Yes. Is named after Count Pulaski, mm -hmm. who died in an unsuccessful siege on Savannah in the 1700s. And um, I'm not sure why they named it after him, Polish guy. Huh. He was like a her hero of the Revolutionary sure, War. Yeah. And uh, so I'm not sure. But anyway, this was like a Civil War fort, and um, it's huge, way bigger than than the old Fort Jackson oh, that we yes. just visited uh, not too long ago. But you would need a good sized fort out here to defend uh, Savannah. Yeah. And um, I don't know how successful it was. You can still see this place is riddled with bullet holes in like every alcove. Yeah. It's crazy. Like and bullets are still there. You still in the them. wall. They're halfway in the wall. You yeah. can touch a bullet, bullet from the Civil War. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And then you go through the um, the place where they house the prisoners. Yeah. Which was really cool. And it's it's crazy because there's like this one part where it's like straight line of bullet holes in the wall. Yeah. Right next to where they kept the prisoners. Yeah. Which leads me to believe. You're assuming. They may have been executed <laughs> there. Like. Yeah. Firing squad type deal. Yeah, they were a perfect straight line. It was kind of weird. I wonder if this place is haunted. It has the most infamous prisoner in it right now. Our daughter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even talk about her. No, our daughter's here. Yeah, Lauren's here. She came in from uh, from Auburn. Yeah, and her and her boyfriend. Four and a half hour drive for in. her. So they're going to be here uh, with us for the weekend. Yeah. Uh, we'll get her on camera here in a little yeah. bit <laughs> and uh, tell her to say hi. Uh, but. Um, yeah, really enjoying Fort Pulaski out here. Mm. And after this, we're going to head into Savannah and check out a bunch of cool stuff, too. Alrighty. Let's see the rest of the fort. Cool. All right. Well, now we're at the Colonial Park Cemetery. Savannah's oldest. And most haunted. Yes. <laughs> cemetery. Probably one of the smallest. It is, yeah. It's like it's a pretty tiny square block. Now you were saying the graves were desecrated by uh, Sherman's, Sherman's army? Union army. Okay. Yeah. So there were some Confederates that were buried here and Sherman's army when they took Savannah. Desecrated a lot of the graves here at Colonial Park Cemetery. So. A lot of them don't have proper markers anymore, or you really don't know who's buried there anymore. Um, but it's really cool. Uh, our ghost tour went through here yeah. and talked a little bit about it. Yeah. But now we get the chance to actually walk, walk through it. it. Yeah. Well, this is the grave of Archibald Bullock, mm -hmm. who was the first president of Georgia, mm -hmm. which is crazy because before we were a United country, yeah. states had their own no presidents. presidents. Yeah. So he was the first president. And worked with John Adams. Yes. And he was the great great grandfather of Theodore Roosevelt. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> the history out here. Yeah. These these historic markers are all over the place with yeah, people who. Yeah, this cemetery had... has the most historical markers on it. Yeah. So we're gonna go around and read some of them. We'll share some of the stories with you. But we thought this one was really this interesting. One. Yeah. There's an interesting one behind me. Button Gwinnett died in 1777 was a georgia signer of the declaration of independence 
So that's really cool. Well, like we said, lots of history here. Lots of firsts here. Yeah. They had the first Georgia president and uh, first Georgia signer of the Declaration of Independence. And now we're standing at the tomb of Savannah's first Catholic, Catholic priest. priest yeah. Which is very cool. Yeah. Way back in 1794, Reverend Jean Baptiste. Jean Baptiste. Jean Baptiste Le Mans. <laughs> I said it right? Sure. Oui. We'll go with that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's uh, interesting That's stuff out cool, here. Yeah. If you haven't been to the uh, Colonial Park Cemetery in Savannah, if you're coming you to Savannah, you should come and check it out. It's, yeah. worth, it's at least worth a walk through. Mm -hmm. Just check out some of the history. We could, we didn't have time to walk through and look at all the historical markers and all that stuff, but very cool cemetery. Yeah. We're going to talk about the creepy wall? I prefer not to. <laughs> this is a creepy wall. It's a creepy wall. Like, I don't know if people are like buried in front of the wall. Well, yeah, it looks like some are. Because the headstones are up on the wall. And yeah, then... It's weird. There's like nothing down here. A whole row of headstones. I don't know if these are maybe the ones that were desecrated and they took the headstones and put them up on the wall. Or they're buried outside the wall? There's nothing that says, so I don't know. I don't know. We'd have to read up on some Savannah history. If you know, leave us a comment. Let us know. Yeah. Creepy, though. Creepy wall. That's what Creepy it is. wall. <laughs> well, we are standing at the place in Savannah where the Forrest Gump bench used to be. Mm -hmm. So if you watch the movie and you see him sitting on the bench telling all his little stories, waiting on the bus, this is where Forrest Gump sat. And um, Lauren got to come and hang out with us in Savannah for a couple days. How'd you like Savannah? It's really fun. There's a lot of history here. Yeah, I like really it. cool. Um, we didn't do a lot of filming because we were just hanging out and yeah. having a good time. But um, we'll show you some of that footage. And so Lauren's time here is coming to an end. She only got to come and hang out for a weekend, yep. unfortunately, for a couple of days. But um, she's headed back over to Alabama. And we're wrapping up our first week in Savannah. Yeah. We'll be here for another yeah. week. So we're going to end our week here. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next week with more Savannah. Bye. Bye.